Hello everyone, this is a rushed yet I hope thorough unboxing and walkthrough of setting up the Snapmaker Dual Extrusion module. There it is, Dual Extrusion module. It is larger than I thought it would be. That's nice, it looks good in there. I'm guessing that's gonna be the, uh, yeah, the extruding doors. And the same for the left door. Ah, so they do move, maybe they're on a motor in there or something. They do seem to push up and then pop out. And you can see they've got these contact plates and then there's these sprung loaded pins on the inside. Um, I think the way that they push in and out is actually just the plastic on a spring there. Oh, and it takes Bowden tubes. It's interesting. So I wonder if they're going to come in here somewhere. So we have some sort of uh, device. Oh, it's a pipe cleaner. Um, I doubt that's going to be for the internal of the nozzles, but it might be useful for the exterior of the nozzles. It's uh, it's not soft. It's like a hard steel wire material, so that should be handy. Mm, well, interesting anyway. <laughs> that's nice. Um, what else do we have? Looks like a general accessory pack here, and they've given another billet piece there. Looks like maybe a a new reel holder, I guess, if you're going to be running dual extrusion, you're going to have two rolls on the go, right? So, yeah, it's very similar to the original one. Maybe this slightly thicker piece of steel, that part there. There is this singular threaded component that, of course, threads straight into there. And I imagine that that's going to fit the old one and make a double. So they have thought of that. What else have we got in the box? Oh, so we got that. So that's going to be the PVA filament that they advertise with the kit, which is going to be really interesting to use. You know, the water soluble uh, supports is definitely going to be a game changer. What's this? Ah, so yeah, so that's going to be, that's going to be the attachment for the Bowden tubes. And I guess that's, like a firewall firewall piece of some sort maybe for the enclosure guys I guess that's gonna yeah so that's cool that's interesting they so they have got everything it's just in a separate box there yeah so that's the breakaway PLA oh, okay so it's not PVA it's just a soft form of PLA maybe that snaps off very easily and yeah here is the quick start guide that I completely pulled out and didn't even look at twice almost looks like a glasses cleaner I'm not sure what that's going to be used for but I'm sure somebody will figure that out and tell me in the comments um, always nice to have a new one of those I I know that papers fine or uh, maybe some people don't use them at all, but I actually I enjoy using these. Um, and a start guide. You know, you should always read before you do anything. But yeah, I'm sure it's pretty similar for those who don't have enclosures. Um, to be honest with you, I can't even fit the Bowdens the way I think people usually would, because my insert is now at the top. But I'm just going to start by getting getting the actual extruder module down into a decent position so it's pretty easy to work on about there i think it's good and then i'm just going to shut it off um no point breaking stuff while we're there then remove it apparently you can just use the tools that come with uh the original snap maker so i'm totally going to get in there with these and hopefully i won't need anything else because i haven't brought anything else so it's 
starting to think I should have put a camera at the other side of the module, but there's plenty of other parts um, to put on other than the screws, so I'm sure everyone can figure out how to put a screw on. <laughs> You have to be on the later version of Lubin, at least past 4.5. Um, so I'm going to have this updating while we finish installing it, and hopefully it will be ready to go by the end. So it's pretty self-explanatory how to bolt it in, so I'm just going to get it straight in, and then we can start with the real fun. I mean, you can see there's actually different sites between the two models, for obvious reasons. Same cable, it doesn't come with a new cable. So I don't have access to the regular enclosure hole that many people will have. Um, but I do have a big old hole in the top of the enclosure that I'll run this through. But it is just um, a grommet that go straight through the enclosure and then obviously run these through and they go straight down to the head. So the cable tidy goes on the back here, I'm guessing centrally like this and the obviously cable is just going to run down there and I suppose it just stops from getting caught. going to take us through leveling and it's going to take us through a Z offset calibration so the bed's going to heat up straight away which is good um, it, you can select what temperature that is but now I'm going to set it to 60 degrees um, and go from there Cool, so I'm going to start that calibration now and see what happens. It's interesting watching the two heads move independently. It's, um, it's not a setup I've seen before.
comes the what? Now I know that that was a bit of a mess of a print um, and I'll obviously need to adjust the Z at some point but doesn't seem to be any options of that during the first calibration so I'm going to crack on with this now and then go back and redo it later. So he's asking me to check out the quality of the print now. But asks if it's flush and it's almost flush. But we'll go with flush for now. See what happens. Apparently that's it. I guess I'll try and get a print on now and see what beautiful things we can make. Okay. So Luban already has a demo file that you can print off the bed, but I didn't really want to go for that. I wanted to have a go at an STL. So I had to look around um, and had loads of problems getting things to just level up and mix on the board without falling to the build plate. Uh, but I did manage to find the frog that seems to be in their picture. So and I managed to get that to work as well. So I'm gonna have a go at that. But my experience in Luban is, is really, really little. I, I usually use Cura. So we'll see how it goes. So there's half a frog. Um, let's put in the next half of the frog. Um, and there it is. Oh, well that's a success. So. If I now go to the object list and change the colour of one of those. Ah, look at that. That's what we're looking for. So if I get that turned into a G code, we'll um we'll have a look, see how it comes out. So it doesn't look quite as beautiful as I hoped it would. Um <laughs> There is a lot of stringing going on, uh, so I guess I'll have to play with the retraction settings. Pops off the bed alright though. So there's a good start. And these breakaway supports, I mean... How easy should they be? I don't know. It's not the highest quality print I've ever seen. Um, it's very stringy and the lines are quite distorted, but I literally put that file straight onto Lubin and changed little to no settings so I think the fact that it worked is a good start I'm definitely going to try and print some more practical prints now I'm going to try and get hold of some PVA for supports in some of my own projects so I've given it a bit of a clean up scratched off some of the string in it it looks better but I still think it needs a few settings changed but it's okay, it's not too bad for a first print. 
I'm definitely going to start making more content um, around the Snapmaker and the dual extrusion module. Uh, for example, for my spy plane project that is nearly finished, and for a lot of automotive projects that I have going on, um, and I'll be definitely taking advantage of the PVA. So, if there's any content you're interested in seeing, just let me know and like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.